Greetings and welcome back everyone to Ironcast, where in the last episode we had a little bit of trouble with our coolant systems and leaking. But we've uh, made it past some of the worst of it. Now we've got a survival in Dartford, we have a battle in Fleet, and a challenging collection in Southampton. Hmm, tempted. Commander, we've spotted a French depot at this location that seems to be where they're storing their Voltite, the fuel that drives our iron cast and steam tanks. This is obviously an incredibly valuable objective. If secured, head to the location and acquire some more fuel for our walkers. Ten before making your escape. That would mean I'd have to get one every turn. Oh, that, that actually sounds pretty nasty. I'm fairly certain I do not average 10 a turn, but then again... Hmm. Let's have a look at the relative EXP we'll get for the others. Oh, so tempting. Okay, we... Mm, no, <laughs> I'm, go I'm not going to go there. I do not feel confident enough about my iron cast at the moment. It's built more for being able to battle, and that one, a collection, kind of does away with that. My abilities in combat wouldn't come to play in a collection, so it would all be down to the random uh, setup of the board, which I would prefer to try and not, you know, place all my eggs in the random basket. I am in position. Good. Two enemy iron cars will be here shortly. If you intend to use your explosives to set a trap, you should do so now. No. I've decided not to use a trap. I would prefer to engage them as usual. If I must die, I shall die a man. That seems unwise, but very well. Prepare for battle! Oh, still only ten turns. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Okay. Uh, we are going to go for... A lot of repair straight off. Followed by an awful lot of... Energy. There we go. Now... We could go for some ammo. Or even more energy. Kind of feel we need the energy, but uh, we're going to grab that in order to bring this energy all down to the same spot. That would be nice to get, but uh, we're going to raise our shield. And there we go. And then we're going to top up with more energy as well. Now, you've got a pulse repeater mark II and an energy lance. Yeah, we're going to raise our shield again, and then start moving. Um, yes, let's activate that. Right, we're good. What are you going to do first? Okay, energy lance. That's okay. And again. Done a decent amount of damage to us, but uh, we were able to mitigate a fair chunk of that damage, and they did damage to themselves with it. Okay, now we actually get to hit them back. We've got very little, almost no, in fact, no energy on the map. So, that's actually pretty bad for us, in a way. Um, I would... How much can we store? Now, we're going to engage first, I think. Aim for the energy lands, I would say. He'd be reducing our damage by half with that. Now we'll go with this one. There we go. Follow that up with another shot. Oh, drat. We missed the second one. That is a bit of a shame. But we'll pick up some more ammo and we'll fire again. We're also going to repair these two... Well, that one system, rather. 
got some energy on the map, but not a whole lot. You know what? We're going to go with... How much? 19. No, we're going to still have to go with this one. There we go. Right, that's taken out for now. I could charge up another weapon if I really wanted to. Not particularly inclined to at the moment, though. What I am inclined to do, however, is go for six energy. There we go. Raise my shields. I'm now immune from this weapon. He could still repair this one. So it might be worth going for that, but... Uh No. I'm going to activate my drive, give myself a 5% chance to dodge, and I'm going to go for, I can go for his drive system, kind of tempted to actually, yes, go for it, and again. There we go. Done a huge chunk of damage to both his drive system and his main cannon. This is a good first round for us. I could activate this. I don't think I will, though. We'll hold on to that for later. Fantastic. Excellent. Is he going to repair? He hasn't repaired at all. Oh, that's fantastic for us. But we absolutely need some coolant, and this is a terrible board! Oh my lord. Absolutely atrocious. But... If... I hold off on that... And go for this, I'm gonna link up more coolant to a single chain. So let's, let's prepare this board. Uh, what else could I do here? Well, first and foremost, I can repair this. Right, grab the coolant. We're going to need that. Uh, fortunately, we don't have enough power. Could get more repair, but no. We're going to go with the uh, weapon system there. At this point, he is quite vulnerable. Go for a shot cannon attack. And, unfortunately, I can't finish that system off. That is a shame. But we've applied a little bit of damage to everything here. And on that note... No, we don't need to worry about it. Let's let him have his turn. Okay, he's repaired. Ah, damn it. The energy lance is back up. Okay, but he hasn't activated his shield. As long as we can get enough coolants to fire on him, we should be able to win this. Grab that. Oh, fantastic. Grab all of that. There we go. And go for the drive system again. Right, it's one down. Got seven more turns. So we've taken three turns to do... Well, three and a half, really. Okay, what's the second one like? Let's have a look at you. Ooh, that's not good to see. No splash damage on it, though. That one is very nasty, however. This... Oh, 70 maximum defense. That's atrocious. That needs to be a primary target right now. That needs to be dead. Hmm. I do not have the power to do anything here. Okay, we now have the power. Our prayers were answered. Fantastic. Raise shields. And uh, I could go for a ten percent chance to dodge up, and then no, raise it again. Now, go for their shield system. We could potentially do an awful lot of damage to one system with this. Try and do it now. There we go. And activate our resilience because I'm quite concerned about that. We're very low on coolant now. Okay. Not too bad. Oh my lord, that is 
barely hanging on. Thankfully, there is an awful lot of repair on the board for me to collect. Let's grab all of that. Now there's an awful lot of energy on the board for me to collect. What I really need, however, is coolant. And I have not been lucky. That is quite unfortunate. Okay, activate ray shield. That's all we're doing this turn. We've got to do 578 damage through an impossibly powerful shield. In just five turns. This is... It's going to be close. It will genuinely be a very tough fight. Hmm. Let's bring everything a little bit closer together. There we go. Ah, unfortunately, it's not in a very good place for me. But what I could do... Is this. Grab all of this coolant. Activate this. Grab a bunch of energy. There we go. That was actually much better than I was expecting. And I could push this all the way up to 45% defense. Or I could get on the move. You know what? No. Keep going for his shield. It's going to take a lot of firepower to get through there. And again. There we go. That's what we needed to see. And... No, hold on to this energy so that I can top up my shield next turn, I think. Now, what are you going to do? Do a chunk of damage, but... You're doing damage back to yourself. Not a whole lot, but... Alright, we badly, badly need to repair. So let's do that first. This is quite a reasonable chain of ammo. Hmm. Going to go for the coolant here. Raise shields. Repair. Two systems. Fantastic. Now aim for the main gun. I could fire this twice. Three times, in fact. Or... Go for it. Okay, and again. And if you get max on this... Oh, it's tempting. Yes, we may be able to win it with this attack. And there we go! Defeated! And we remain the Sir while doing it. Take that, Scallywags! Both targets destroyed! Excellent work, Commander! The enemy will likely think twice before attempting this road again. Indeed, you may have bought us some much-needed breathing space. You should exit in case of retaliation, however. Roger that, Spire. I'm on the move! Ha-ha! We didn't even use traps! We didn't resort to scallywaggery! Uh, almost two levels. That wasn't actually a bad run. We got Shot Cannon Mark III. Wow. And Standard Shield Mark III. Both pretty nice, but this one especially. Oh my lord, that looks good. Moving out. Alright, we need to do a little bit of repair. Well, by a little bit, I mean quite a lot. And we then want to see how much that's going to cost. 1,025. It's very expensive. But this is no better than what we've currently got. So that one can just wait in the hangar, but this definitely better than what we've got. Hugely so. Absolutely glorious. When we get the scrap, that is what we're going for. Now then. Boost the accuracy of all weapons by 5%. Energy nodes spawn 5% more often. Or if you complete a match of 10 or more nodes, you are guaranteed one overdrive mo a node will spawn. Um, well, to be fair, I do quite often go for the long chain. So yeah, okay, we'll, we'll go with this one. 
Right then, let's have a look at the next mission. There's another hard one. Challenging collection. How much do we need to collect? Ten again. I'm, I'm going to err on the side of caution there. Survival, six turns, or Guildford. T trade. We know of an American businesswoman at this location named Ms. Catherine Woodbrook. She has in her possession a vast store of resources that would be incredibly valuable to us at this stage of the defence of Great Britain. However, we know she's not particularly fond of England and thus has no real reason to help us. She can always travel back to the United States at any point after all. You must acquire those resources through a trade. Or by any means possible. Do whatever it takes, Commander. That sounds like scallywaggery right there. A convoy carrying blueprints for several of our Ironcast designs has been destroyed. Enemy forces are moving to claim them, and we cannot let that happen. Race your opponents to the blueprints to keep your sp and keep your speed up. You must survive against your enemies for six turns while ensuring that you do not stop moving. Oh, that sounds hard. Uh... Oh, I think we're going for Guildford then. There we go. Well, let's see. Can we trade? Can we just give you something for this? Greetings, Lord Beechwood. To what do I owe this pleasure? Nice to meet you, Ms. Woodbrook. I'll cut straight to it. I'm looking to make a trade for a portion of your material stock. I see. What kind of portion are we talking about, Commander? I'll be blunt once more, Ms. Woodbrook. Preferably all of it. Heavens, surely you cannot be serious. How on earth will I continue to trade if I give you all of the, my stock to one customer? Nonsense! Um, we'll offer you something in return. An offer. And what offer might that be? Manpower and protection. We can loan you a number of our troops in order to protect you and your supplies, as you no doubt prepare to evacuate England. Hmm, I'm not sure how this all works, but uh, we are asking a trader for all of their stock. I'm going to be fair. This this is war, I realize. I know. But uh, I'm going to be as fair as I can be. Superb. Then it is agreed. Whilst I make no secret of caring little for the British or their plight, it is good that I was able to assist in some way. Yes, thanks. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Uh, oh, Mrs. I keep calling her Ms. I do apologize, Mrs. Woodbrook. My goodness, but that was a fairly easy mission. So there we are. We lost 50 war assets. Unfortunately, we gained a lot of scrap. And a fair chunk of EXP. There we go. I wasn't going to attack a train. I'm not going to just steal this stuff. I just went through a really difficult mission not to be a scallywag. I'm not going to turn on that and become a scallywag anyway. Uh, EXP gained through matching is increased by 10%. Wow. Gather scrap. Collect all scrap nodes from the grid. This is not classified as a match, so earns no EXP. The next weapon to be activated fires an additional shot. Mm, that could be good. But this, the amount of times I've seen loads of scrap on the table that I just need to get rid of, but have been unable to do so, has been rather extreme, honestly. Right, we want this. Oh, look at that. Such gloriousness. Also, what have we got there? Tash weapon has a 5% chance to automatically overdrive. No, uh, no, we'll keep that as, as is, I think. But, looking at the time, and given that I doubt I'm going to get as easy a mission this time, let's have a quick look around. We've got three days left. Mm, salvage, challenging battle, or a collection. Eight crates in ten turns. Hmm... Yes, given the time, I think I'm going to be wrapping up this episode there. But when we return, it's probably going to be between the collection or South End on Sea and the challenging battle. I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, I feel that we should we should try at the very least. We should we we just gave up 50 war assets. We are going to need more, and that 235 right there, very tempting, very tempting indeed. But that is the end of this episode. I do hope you've liked it and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care.